You want shirts? I got shirts. Only it's only game. Why you have to be mad? What is up, heroes of Dominion? My name is Charlie. This is Hero War Central, and in today's video, we're going to talk a little bit about the tower on Facebook. Yesterday we covered the tower on mobile and I want to stick to doing these game activity videos on Monday but in some activities they are different on mobile and on Facebook and in those weeks that I cover those activities I'm gonna to have to do a second video just to keep them uh, keep them active in my lineup. So the tower on Facebook is an in-game activity where you can old earn gold, tower coins, and heroes equipment similar to the mobile version that we went over yesterday. In fact until you unlock the Titan Soulstone shop, it is the best way to earn gold in the game. There are other ways to earn gold, but not at this quantity every single day. You can literally earn up to a million or more gold per day just by completing the tower. All right, so once you hit team level 35, you gain access to the tower for the first time. However, your hero should also reach at least level 35 to fight there. The enemies are going to be based on an average of the team level, and it's going to be in range of your team level, not your hero level. Okay, I'm going to mention that a few times throughout this video. There are 50 floors in the tower total. Each floor will either force you to fight a team of enemies, buy some buffs from this crystal thingy, or choose one of three reward chests. And every two floors that you complete, you'll be able to skip half that amount of the floors the following day. So, for example, if you complete all 50 levels of the floor, you'll be able to skip the first 25 levels worth of enemy battle floors. And I believe the first fight that you'll actually have to do will be level 27, I believe. So as you climb the steps of the tower, the heroes that you face will increase in strength. And this actually, I don't actually think that this is the case. I think that they go up and down. I think that there's like a range that, that they fall in. Uh, I, I don't think that there's like a final boss team at the top. I've definitely fought some weaker teams on, on you know, level 49 than 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 lower down but you know it's probably some crazy algorithm that the game has set up so they will get more and more powerful to a point but the range of levels of enemies you face is tied to your team level again not your heroes level so you want to keep your team that you're using to clear the tower as close to your team level as you can your team's hero level as close to your team level as you can your heroes will not regain health between fights but they will retain any energy they earn so it is important to maintain the health of your team by using your healing abilities appropriately, but also not using your ultimate abilities uh, when you don't need them, like using a big damaging ability right at the end of the fight when there's only one enemy left. You want to save those for the beginning of the next fight. So for each battle floor you clear, you'll earn skulls and tower points based on how well you did in each fight. More on tower points later on, but let's quickly talk about the skulls. The skulls that you earn in fights are the currency that you trade to the little crystal uh, monolith things, um, statue things here, when you encounter them every uh, every couple of floors. There are a number of buffs that you can buy. There are three at a time that you get. They're randomly assigned each day to each floor, and they don't change if you back out and go back into it. Once you've clicked on one, uh, that those are the three buffs, and I believe they're assigned at the beginning of the day, I've read somewhere. Each buff has a different price, that's based kind of on you know how strong the buff is. So there's like you know as you can see here, there's a damage increase two, or there's a damage increase three that's got more, uh, you know energy increase three, energy increase two, um, and here is a list of all of the available buffs in the game that you can buy with skulls. So the skulls that you use to buy the buffs and the buffs themselves only will last for the day. Whenever your game resets, I believe at 5 a.m. the following day, you'll lose all of your buffs and all of your all of your um all of your scoins. Uh scoins, skull coins. The good news is is that the tower will reset and all of your heroes will have full health. So you have another you have another try at the tower. So a little while ago, there was a change on Facebook to allow you to use the skulls that you don't use. And a lot of people can clear the tower without taking a single buff at all. You can take those skulls and turn them in at the very top of the tower. Once you've completed level 50, you can exchange them for uh, for gold. Okay, and it's not nothing. It's a good amount of gold. So finally, there are reward chest floors. And these are the floors that have three chests to choose from. These chests have an opportunity to give you tower coins, uh, gold, or various hero equipment. Sometimes your chest can crit and you'll actually receive double the rewards that are listed there. And that's that's always nice to get double the gold or double the items, especially those, you know, really hard to reach red items. 
On each chest floor, you can open one chest for free, and then you'll give them the option to open the second or third chest for emeralds. And there are three types of reward chests. The small chests are up to floor 26, and they have less loot, but they uh, and they cost 50 emeralds to open the additional second and third chest. On 27 through 49, all the additional chests cost 100 emeralds to open, and there is slightly more loot. And then finally, the large chest will appear on the 50th floor once you complete the tower. And um, again, it takes 100 emeralds to open up the second and third chest. Uh, but um, there's only one of those, the big, the big chest. And the amount of gold in the chests depends on the chest types and the total amount of chests that you've unlocked that day. Um, actually, that's not the case. That's only the case on mobile. Um, the bonus that you get on Facebook is a 50% bonus to gold once you've reached level 80. That is team level 80. You get a 50% bonus to gold. So it's not a good idea to artificially keep your level low uh, in order to be stronger in order to clear the tower faster because once you reach level 80 you will get a lot more gold for completing the tower all right okay worth mentioning also the vip level six does give you a bonus to rewards in the tower as well for you players that like to buy your way through the game i uh, i've worked my way up up to vip 11 over the course of the last year and a half or so year and year and two months that i've played the game so once you reach level 130 team level 130 which is the level cap on facebook you can earn the ability to auto complete the tower simply by completing all 50 levels one more time you can either manually choose the chest on each floor or spend a pile of emeralds here like i've like i've shown on screen to open all three chests on every reward floor and you'll get tower points for doing this and you'll get skulls for doing this which you can turn in on floor 50 like i mentioned up above so let's talk a little bit more about tower points Every floor with enemies that you clear, you'll be awarded tower points. And you'll earn more tower points for clearing a fight without losing any, any heroes, but it is okay if you do lose one here or there. Uh, you need to get, you know, 60,000 tower points in order to get all of the, all of the, uh, all of the rewards. And I believe the max is a little over 62,000 if you complete it without, without losing any hero. At the end of your day's tower run, whether you cleared all 50 levels or had to stop midway up because all of your heroes are dead, you can click on the points icon here on the bottom left and immediately exchange all of your earned points for gold and tower coins. It used to be that you would have to wait a day and receive the tower rewards in the mail. And like the skull buff change, this was changed the same time and, and now you can just click and get the rewards immediately. You don't have to worry about it. But you still want to complete the tower every day because uh, it's, you know, it's a good amount of gold to get and... It's, you know, you don't get the penalty for not completing the tower by not, you know, getting to skip fights once you've earned the autocomplete, but it's, you know, it's still roughly a million gold a day just for, you know, basically clicking 15 times or eight times or however many it is. So one last thing, let's talk about the tower merchant. All right. Let's talk about what to do with all of those coins that you're earning from the tower. In my opinion, none of these heroes are worth leveling on Facebook for your main team. Not a single one. Uh... Maybe for your second team, but there are some really, really bad heroes in here and some heroes that are just not very strong compared to other heroes. Uh, take Lilith, for example. She is a pretty decent tank, but her positioning and her abilities and her stats overall make her less effective than other tanks. Uh, Dante, as a hero, is extremely weak. Um, Kai, there is some consideration for Kai for some team variants. Um... But the, uh, the main one that I would talk about is Orion, okay? Now, all of the other ones, all of the other ones, I probably wouldn't touch. I've invested a lot in Akai. I wish that I hadn't, okay? That's just my opinion. I think Orion is, if you're going to spend tower coins on a hero, I think Orion is the hero to get. He's pretty good in the campaign. He's pretty good in PvP. But he... He's not a main team for me. He's probably a second or third team for me. His his uh, Orion, Dorian, Helios team is pretty strong. What I would do, and what I would recommend everybody do, whether you're you know absolute starring all heroes or not, is spend tower coins on equipment. You're going to get tower coins more. Once you're able to clear the tower every day, you're going to earn tower coins quicker than you will arena or grand arena coins or you know the friendship shop coins. And you can see I've got a good stockpile here. I like to buy equipment for, with tower coins. And maybe I'm biased because I already have all four of these heroes to absolute star. But that's what I would recommend you spend your tower coins on. Unless one of these heroes is in your main five team, then go ahead and do that. 
All right. So this is coming to an end of our tower video. There are a couple of more game activities that I want to cover over the next few weeks. We've got the Outland. We've got Highwaymen on mobile. We've got Dungeons. We've got Guild Wars. And, you know, a couple more activities here and there. Uh, so we're going to continue to cover those on Mondays through our week, unless, uh, unless you guys tell me not to. But I love you all. Good luck in Dominion.